you know, I was listening to uh, Dr. Manning's, um, well, not Dr. Manning, but yeah, Pastor Manning's um, channel the other day, and he talked about how Trayvon Martin basically was a thug. And that's what him and Jesse Peters were saying. I'm going to take this a little step further. Now, I'm going to say this about Trayvon Martin. I, obviously, they say that he was out of control, and then I'll give you that. But then you got to ask yourself the logical question. Who really raised that boy in the first place? And obviously, I'm going to quote this from the Bible that Mr. David Carroll has been saying. And here's the old saying. You should get to know a tree by the fruit it bears. That means you should get to know a tree by the fruit it bears. Now, logically, you got to ask yourself the question. If you produce rotten fruit. Then you're going to have. Bad tasting fruit. And it comes down to the fact of these two parents of Trayvon Martin, the parents of Trayvon Martin. I mean, these these parents have got to be the worst parent, the worst Negro parents I've seen. I mean, the fact of the matter is that you allow that boy. He was getting kicked out of school. And that means as parents, you failed. Probably the worst mistake you ever did was give birth to that boy. That's the worst thing you did. The fact that the mother would play that independent, strong bullshit. And it shows that she didn't give a fuck about that boy. And then you had the father who, who, was, who was living with his girlfriend's house and then had a mistress on the side. I mean, come on. You would think that they didn't put their differences aside. And they, and, and they had to have been dysfunctional. See, black folks don't want to take the responsibility for their own for their own screw ups. See, they want the authority, but they don't want the responsibility. Like a black, like a typical black woman, she wants the authority, but she doesn't want the responsibility. And this comes to the close, the the, the conclusion of Black Lives Matter. When you have an organization run by black women, what happens is that that organization becomes a joke. And you had Ray Lewis. What was it? Um that talked about the hypocrisy of Black Lives Matter. Now that now the Black Lives Matter have probably what? Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Michael Brown, another idiot. Michael Brown, who was raised by sorry ass parents. Same thing with Tamir Rice. The fact that that that, that Tamir Rice's parents were born well, he was born and raised into the dysfunctional house. So technically speaking. The parents of Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Michael Brown, they're, fairly, they're, they're a bunch of failures. That's all they are. Probably the worst parents in Negroes' histories. But you Negroes don't want to hear that shit. That's the problem. That's why Black Lives Matter is a joke. You got a bunch of lesbians that, that want the attention on them. And that's really what they are, a bunch of lesbians. That has been funded by a white liberal Democrat the DNC and the DNC just sits back and laughs and, and they know damn well that I would not, that they will not take them seriously. And in fact, you know, there was a video the other day that fearless, that fearless did. Sorry, but I mentioned your name talking about how black women are going to sit there and stand up to the cops. Let me tell you something, man. You black women are no threat to this white liberal. As long as you continue to take, the trinkets that this white liberal dishes out to you, the welfare policies, the Section 8 and alimony and all that shit, you black women are no threat. And that's just reality. <laughs> and technically, to black men, we're nothing but livestock to you. So black men are going to wind up dating outside their race. And I can't fault them for that. Because you North American black women are finished. Y'all bitches are done. I'm, I'm sorry. Even how young you are, you're finished. 
And that's why nine times out of ten, it's just reality. I'm not saying it out of hatred. I'm just telling the truth. But you black women don't want to hear that. You understand what I'm saying? You think that a smart guy that gets his life together thinks he's going to marry a useless female like you? I'm sorry. That ain't happening. And that bullshit about the friend zone, guess what? You know what the friend zone really is? That's a you zone. That's really what it is. And to you black men that continue to support these black women, let me ask you a question, seriously. Do you think these black women really give a fuck about you? No. They really don't. And the ones that support this Black Lives Matter crap, how come you Negroes won't talk about your black on black crime? Now, obviously, I don't want to say black on black crime, but you don't care about the crime in your neighborhood. You don't care about the abortion rate that these black women engage in. And black women have been known notorious to really have the highest number in abortion rate. What does that tell you? You got all this stuff, black women, in your disposal. Like what? Like birth control, getting your tubes tied and all this stuff. And even if we had this, this systems of sterilization, you black women would sit there and make the make the worst decisions. And that's sad. That's really sad. Like I said, I'm not saying it out of hate, but technically speaking, you pro-black simps, y'all finished. Y'all can have this. You know? And with that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off. Like I said, in year 2015, like I said, it's going to get worse. And P.S., the black community is dead. You don't believe me? Go ask your, go ask your nigga bitch. I'm out.